Hey everyone, welcome back. In this tutorial, we're going to show you how to adjust your audio levels, and we're also going to show you how to add music to your video. So to get things started, let's go ahead and hit play. Hey everyone, I'm Brantley, one of the founders of Cut Yeti, unlimited video editing for a low monthly subscription. You can probably and while see we're two horns this, coming I want out of side of my head, attention to our and audio that's because levels our Cut Yeti right logo over here. is right behind me. But Cut Yeti Right now they're hitting right around the minus 12 to minus 18 dB range. Ideally, we would like to have this somewhere around the minus six to zero range. So what we need to do is go in and increase our audio levels. And we can do that right down here from our editor. So this is our talking head with sync sound. This is our audio track, this bottom layer. And you can see this white line. If you hover your mouse over the white line, the mouse arrow turns into a double edged or double sided arrow. And what we can do is we can bring our audio levels up or down. So let's go ahead and start by bringing them down just to show what it does. And it shows that I'm bringing this one down minus 6.67 dB. So let's see how that one sounds. Eddie's not while you're watching this video. And now you're you can see that it's you're interested now in about a video editor. six or so dBs awesome. lower than video what it used to be. Hands down one of let's my go ahead and bring things. it up. And let's do the opposite. Let's bring it up around positive six. It's about being a filmmaker and media producer. Now your journey. That's sounding a lot better. It's right here around the minus 12 to minus six. But remember what I said earlier? We'd like to have it around the minus six or so mark. So let's go ahead and bring it up a little bit. So let's just go ahead and take it up to 9.33 dB. And let's give that a listen. The journey towards becoming a video editor probably didn't start here. It probably started with the Google search asking, what is the best video editing software? And at the top of the search, we're good. Let's go ahead and bring it up one more notch and we'll just call it a day. Let's make it an even 12 dB positive. Results was probably Adobe Premiere Pro, and Avid Media, hit, Media Composer. And now we're hitting that right mark right here between zero and minus six. So right now my vocal levels sound pretty good. So with that taken care of, let's go ahead and add some music. Now, as we did in one of our previous tutorials, we brought in all of our media files and that included music. And if you have your project organized just like my organization, you have audio. And inside of that audio folder, you have a music folder. And inside of that music folder, whoops, my bad. Inside of that music folder, you have a couple different samples. We have music one, two, three, and four. Let's go ahead and just give each one of these a listen and see which one we like the best. So double click on it. It'll open right over here in your trimmer window and go ahead and hit play. Okay, that one sounds pretty good. I just hit the space bar to stop it. Let's listen to number two, double click, and let's bring it back to the beginning and hit the space bar to play. Okay, and now double click music number three. Bring it to the beginning and hit space bar to play. Definitely a different feel. And it's not something I'm feeling. So let's go listen to music number four. Bring it to the very beginning and let's see how it sounds. Yeah, not for this kind of video. Maybe if I was doing some kind of boxing workout, this music would be okay. But right now I'm feeling music number one the best. Let's go ahead and double click on this one. And let's go ahead and hit play again. Kind of a fun little piece of jazz. So let's go ahead and bring this down. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to just click on it and just drag it on down. And if you drag it beneath our first set of first piece of audio, it'll make a new audio track and just 
release it and there it is. We're going to take it and we're just going to drag it to the very beginning of our timeline and then release the mouse button and let's give it a listen. You can probably see two horns coming out of the side of my head and that's because our Cut Yeti logo is right behind me. Okay, so the first thing that's jumping out to me is this music is way too loud. So just like we went into my audio levels and adjusted them, we're going to do the same thing to the music levels. So we're definitely going to be bringing these down so we can understand what I'm saying. Let's bring these down quite a bit just to begin with. Let's go with like minus 13. Let's see how this sounds. But Cut Yeti is not why you're watching this video. You're here because you're interested in becoming a video editor. And that is awesome. That sounds Video editing is a lot better. That sounds an awful lot better. Let's just see what our audio sounds like with just the music. And to do that, we can turn off audio one by clicking this button right here. You'll see it goes from a speaker with audio waves to a speaker with no audio waves. Let's see how it sounds, just the music. So right now we're getting up there around minus 12 to minus 18. With this being background music, I would like to see it maybe around here at minus 30, minus 36. So let's bring it down a little bit more. Let's see how this sounds. Still too high for my liking. Let's bring it down some more. Not too bad. Let's bring it down even more. That's sounding a lot better. It's much more quiet. It's not going to compete with my voice too much. Hit the space bar to pause. Let's go ahead and turn on my vocals again. And let's hit the space bar to play them both. Video editing software. Number one, is it accessible and user friendly? You don't want something to... Now that sounds a lot better to my ears. Um, the music is there. It adds a nice background track but it's not so loud that it's competing with my voice. The most important thing for this piece is we want to make sure that the audience understands what I'm saying because the music isn't the most important thing. What I'm trying to communicate and what I'm trying to teach, that is the most important thing. So I think we've got something pretty good there. So in the next tutorial, we're going to add an opening and closing graphic and we'll probably retime the music, retime the video track a little bit to make it all fit together, and we'll be up and running. All right, looking forward to the next tutorial.